Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the broadcast booth! I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans! While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means! Old stuff! We are still in the thick of Heritage Week, and so I thought Throwback Thursday would be a great time to look at the old and the new, the genuine and the heritage, going in order 68, 69, 70. First up, all-star card of Mike Trout from 2017 Heritage. And we can compare it to this original 68 Rod Carew all-star card. Uh, Fun little thing that Heritage does is they keep it all together the way it was back in the day. So they were puzzle pieces back then, and they're puzzle pieces now. Very cool. Pretty good condition on this Rod Carew. Not too bad, not too bad. But this baby I know is going to make the Red Sox fans happy. Boom! Look at Yaz right there. Very cool. This is the kind of case we used to have back when I was a young collector. They were pretty much always screw downs. We didn't really deal with top loaders too much. And the top loaders we did kind of mess around with were usually just the card saver like this. They were very flimsy compared to the contemporary top loader uh, and all that. And another thing I really like about this Yaz card is the puzzle piece... Boom! Look at that! It's his full face on the puzzle piece. Uh, So a nice one for my little PC, even as a Yankee fan. Pretty cool card. Uh, So 1969, uh, that's right, make no mistake about it, that is the Mick Manning Center Field. Uh, Something that we will look at here is the backs of these cards, because we've got, uh, you know, nice heritage here, Aaron Judge Rookie Cup card, and we'll compare it to this Sandy Alomar Sr. Well, shout out to Victor Negron for the Puerto Rico PC, but I'm hanging on to this one, Victor, for my Alomar family collection. But look at how vibrant the pink is compared to Heritage. Now, Heritage did do red backs, but all of the original 69s had this really, really hot print pink back. Uh, and this is pretty good condition on this Alomar card. Who knew? I'm sure he had no thought in his mind back then that he was going to have two sons that were just going to be MLB legends. Very, very nice Sandy Alomar card. Next up, we got a nice Rod, another Rod Carew. It's uh, a little beat up, not too bad though. Uh, again, here we're in a big, heavy screw down case, but again, very, very vibrant pink back. Love the cartoons. Very early career Rod Carew right there. Look at that, six foot one seventy. That's like as thin as Carl Edwards Jr. when we looked at his card in the Heritage break. Another one for the Red Sox fans out there. Teddy Ball game back when he was managing for the Senators. And really the highlight of this card is the back. Look at that. Can you imagine if you had that in a poster? That would just be hot. I mean, it's not in the best of condition, but uh, just a nice one for the collection. I got all these cards when I was a, a kid. Next up, Joe Morgan. I was always a fan of Joe Morgan. Mostly, I think it was because he did Sunday Night Baseball on ESPN for so many years. And he's just one of those announcers and broadcasters that I love because he was so full of insight and history of the game. Uh, love that. Again, look how vibrant pink the back of that is. Just awesome. Great cartoon, Rookie of the Year, 1965. Love it. And, of course, we can see just some real damage here. Johnny Bench Rookie Cup card. Just beat all to hell, but uh, had to have it. Always was a Johnny Bench fan because of the baseball bunch as a kid growing up. Really just... Always easy to be a fan of Johnny Bench when you were a kid because of the baseball bunch. That was a great, great show. There's a little bit of it on YouTube that you can check out, uh, but makes us nostalgic, us old farts. And of course, the Mick. This is Mickey Mantle's last card. Uh, there was a variation. There was a white, all white name, and then the, the common was the one with the yellow. Got this for $18 when I was a kid at my old local hobby shop. Uh, obviously, it's pretty banged up. Uh, but this is the case it's been in probably for over 20 years, and you can see that's how we used to do it. I mean, this is the thick brick, so we're in a penny sleeve, a card saver, and the thick brick, 
toss it off the Empire State Building, and nothing gonna happen. He actually did not play in 1969. They took this photo in, uh, in spring training, as you can see here. He retired March 1st, 1969, so didn't even play. Last card of the Mick. All right, so 1970. Now, we'll start it off with the what was supposed to be my top loader, courtesy of Fab subscriber Matt Spencer, who tune in tomorrow when I will do my set update. Thanks to Matt helping me out with uh, the build. But he also sent me this beautiful Mel Stottlemyre. Uh, he had seen the OT Retro, and so he sent this along. I was hoping my top loader was going to be uh, like this, but I got instead one of these top loaders, which if I had read the box, basically these were one in three, or these are one in three. You can also get a poster and something else. I, I can't remember what it was, uh, but uh, I, didn't, I was all primed and ready to go, and it really threw me off my game that I didn't pull one of the supers. But uh, I really want to thank Matt for this. Just a beautiful, beautiful piece for the collection. Really, really love it. Here's uh, Mel's original 1970. Love the facade in the background. Definitely go check out Mel's OT Retro. Classic, classic card. And of course, we've got what we pulled uh, yesterday in the Heritage Hobby Box break, which I will do a booth blab and I'll cover all of that because folks seem to really like that. And I'm happy to put those together. And I think it is helpful for folks um, when they are making the choice or they want to spend the money on a hobby box or just go with blasters. Uh, so a couple other 1970 cards, uh, and I will say, I'll cover this in Booth Blab as well. I was going through after the break and discovered that this Juan Soto Rookie Cup card is actually a variation. It's a short print and it says action. Uh, so it's one in 41 packs. So I, it's a hit in the box. Uh, and I was surprised that I uh, missed it, but uh, that's pretty cool. I learned a couple other new things, too, about the heritage this year, and we'll cover that in Booth Blab. Uh, so here we go, just a couple uh, original 1970 cards. This one's in not too bad a shape, um, even though it's, you know, it's just one of those kind of group uh, leaders cards, but a cool one with Reggie and Harmon Killebrew Boog Pal on there. Jim Palmer. And Brooks Robinson, maybe the greatest third baseman of all time. Something I noticed that was interesting about this uh, Jim Palmer is that he he comes up, you know, to the bigs, and he plays a couple years, and then in '67, maybe he was injured, and he just he's down in the minors all through '67, '68, and then he comes back up in '69 and basically becomes the Jim Palmer that folks know. Um, but I wasn't really familiar that he had spent that 67, 68 time back in the minor leagues. So don't give up. You might get your cup of coffee, you get sent back down, and then you come back up and you become a Hall of Famer. And, of course, there we go, Brooks Robinson. As you can see, it's got a little bit of you know fading and wear on it, damaged corners. But uh, back when I was collecting as a kid, uh, vintage was not the way it is now. People were not scrambling for it in quite the same way. Uh, so that just the condition of the cards, that's why, you know, people slab them and it's hard to find really high quality condition cards. But look at that beautiful long career of maybe the greatest third baseman of all time. There's some footage on YouTube of Brooks manning the hot corner. It wasn't hot for him. Cool as a cucumber. Had a rifle for an arm. Just a great, great all time player. So there you go. That was a nice, fun little look at the old and the new. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Tune in tomorrow and slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.